Welcome back, I'm MJ Haggis, this is my let's play of SnowRunner. I hope you've seen the last one because we're going to finish this restoring the water tower hopefully in this episode. Loaded up, we have two lots of small pipes and our consumables, we're going to take them back down the hill. I have set some waypoints, just in case I get lost. Fortunately we are on the right side, we're getting to the water tower and I believe this is the correct route in. So that's quite nice. Then the final uh, small pipes. We're going to jump into another truck and probably end up picking them up from this warehouse. Strangely enough, it is not showing this warehouse as having small pipes in it. But if I click on it, they are there. There's two of them. So that's quite handy. Except for the fact it doesn't show that there's any there. That's not handy. But anyway, let's, let's wake them up and let's get moving. got a dolly lock would be required here probably there we go and reverse is handy too i'm gonna probably reverse in that big tree at the background which would be almost impossible to do with a dolly without the lock around this muddy track Gone almost there. That should do. Right, let's take the lock back off again. Yuck. Don't want to break down in there. You're gonna get your feet all muddy. Come on, let's get out of here. How much water we'll be taking from this water tower at this stage is anybody's guess. You who have done it will probably already know how much you use from water tower 3. I thought water tower number 4, which we've already done... Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Come on. I wasn't sure why I was moving, or not moving there. There we go, keep going. <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of figured Water Tower 4 was probably the one I'd use more, but I have no idea. I should have probably done this one first, purely because it unlocks some of the other contracts. When I get these dropped off, I'm going to have to probably think about heading back down to where the fuel trailer is and get it topped up. You know, all the pipes are rattling about in that trailer. Thought you were gonna make it through without dropping into low ratio there. Graphical glitch. There must be where you put the maps together. I don't know how they do that, but it's so clever. But the odd glitch has managed to get through. Cut this corner. I look where I'm going. I crashed while well, looking in reverse. I'll just look very silly. So, yeah, not a good idea. Not with my crashing reputation. A 
at least handily we will end up in roughly the middle of the map so getting back to the fuel trailer is nice and easy right, can we see it from here not yeah we can we can just see it through the trees if i don't crash there he is I say this uh, freight liner's growing on me with every job he gets. He hasn't really seemed like he's going to try and tip over, like some trucks can do. He's pretty good at keeping his feet on the ground. Now that's probably just jinxed it, but hey, we'll, we'll, I'll take the chance. Kind of a longer drive than I thought it was going to be. We should have enough fuel for getting back to the, the fuel trailer though. Let's cut this corner up. Puff again, that's quite a heavy trailer. Front tires are scrabbling for grip again. But we're up. It'll leave room for a reversing maneuver somewhere. I don't know how we're going to do that. Engine off, don't need that one just now. Let's get rid of the consumables and the pipes. Good job. And that'll actually leave room for the next vehicle. So, with only needing one little small pipes, what I was thinking. We need to come down to this warehouse, which is now showing it as having small pipes, bizarrely. And I thought the Step 310E would be our candidate. I parked them in here, ready to go, fully fueled, almost, and no damage. Perfect for the job, I think. We just need to set a route down to the warehouse, so we're going to come out... You know what, we'll come up past the White Western Star. And round to that junction, and then down the hill. And in... And then once we've done that, we can continue round, round this way, past that junction, and then, see I know we can cut through, well I don't know actually, it's darkened out, I thought that looked like a wee shortcut through there. Um, maybe we should try and have a look and see if that is a shortcut. And then at least we're on the right side for coming up. Or we go past it and try and look to get up this way. Hmm. I'm going to leave that waypoint there and one across so I know that's roughly what we're going to do. Once we get there, we'll know if it's going to be viable. Right. Engine on. And brake off. Let's go. really get that right west and start um, slightly better positioned More cotton stones go on okay 
try and keep all wheel drive off as long as possible. Again, to try and save that fuel. This guy doesn't have quite the fuel tank. our roads are absolutely fine, shouldn't use up too much fuel, especially not pulling a trailer now. Oh, dug that wheel into the ground there and stopped suddenly. That's a nasty bit. Um, yeah, I could catch a few people out, mainly me. Yeah, horrible, because it's just the one side, one wheel rut that would just tip you over before you knew it, especially if you were fully loaded. Right, downhill all the way. Empty a little bit of automatic gears so you can get a bit quicker. Maybe not all wheel drive, come on. The off-road tyres are good, but when they bog down, they will stop. But the good thing is, switching the all wheel drive on, suddenly they seem to gain way more grip and you're away again. Just like that. A little bit of all-wheel drive, just to see you through. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, it was almost too fast. The warehouse already. Great. I'm of your bestest small pipes, please. Now we need to see about a shortcut. trailer there that I've just abandoned and that one will definitely be going back to the garage. Needs a bit of maintenance, doesn't seem to work properly. Mainly the ramps. Which is a shame because it's actually a pretty good truck. A truck trailer, you know what I mean. more off camber in bit so this bit here nice and let's go out to the grass and up
Doing okay. Keeping a close eye out for any big boulders in the roads and stuff. That's the kind of thing that will catch me out quite suddenly. Stay out that mud there. But watch that boulder. Yeah, that one I went straight over. <laughs> like a magnet. Couldn't get over it. Well, couldn't get around it. Yeah, now this is a bit here. This is a shortcut. It's definitely not a track. But the road is right there. 132 metres. You know That'd be rude not to at least have a wee peek. Is this a viable shortcut? Squeeze through there. Squeeze past the rocks and these trees. Yeah, that's all good. A big fallen tree there. Try and go around it. Okay, we're getting a little bit off to the side. Oh, that tree's luckily just despawned. Yay, and we're through. Okay, it's not a brilliant shortcut, but it works. You know that I know that that shortcut works. I'd, I'd actually want to go and find see if there's another one. This wee corner here. Oh yeah, we are about to get the water tower number three up and running. Nice, park it up there, handbrake on. Engine off, don't need that. And let's get rid of these and have a cutscene. Yay! Short and sweet. So for that, restoring the water tower number three. Fine, now you can supply water to the tower and then deliver it to the fire sites. Really? What do you mean deliver it to here? Do we need to top it up first? I can't remember. I've only got 4,500 for that and 500 XP. Cheapskates. Yeah, I'm going to just drive forward. Do we need to fill it up? No, that's what I thought. It's already full, because it's a water tower, not a water boom. Okay, interesting choice of words. Anyway, like, engine back off. We are doing well. We have time for a little bit more. So, give me a sec. I'm going to find something suitable. Just a little bit of fun. I'm not going to start another contract just yet. And I'm certainly not doing water boom number seven that's on the screen. So, back in a sec. Okay, we're back in the... This is the HX, International HX 520. We had left at the weather station. I think this is the second weather station. It's on the map, so you can remember. We're down in this corner here. Here's the Albany gate, uh, Gateway and the other one. So that's where we're at. And I thought what we do is we'll continue this road because it does look like it goes back out to this point here. I only want to see what's under this darkened area. That's why we're doing that. And then... I've got another truck that I've dumped away over on this side. I've got the loaf that's sitting on the Ank Mark 38 Puma 2. And I thought we'll go and activate this abandoned trailer and hurtful loss. Um, I think we've already abandoned... Abandoned trailer was already done? Yeah, we've already done it. But I want to have a look at the trailer there. Maybe get it back on its wheels. Then we'll continue north, activate hurtful loss. And then continue to try and get back over to this other side. So that's what we're going to do for the end of this episode. Beautiful. Nothing else has appeared. I think we just keep moving. See if we can spot anything that hasn't appeared yet. 
nothing in the water. I don't think. Nope. Okay, bit of mud. Break through. But when, when I was doing that weather station stuff, I could have come either way, it would appear. I didn't expect it to be a big loop, to be honest. Uh -huh, is this when we find out there's been a rock fault and it's closed up this way? Maybe. Definitely going to be nothing up the hills there. Looks like it's just a loop road. With nothing of any interest on it. Bit of mud to go through, how bad is this going to be? I haven't even put the all wheel drive on yet, but it's going to happen. Ain't that bad though. This is another truck that I'm actually enjoying driving more and more. NASA's already at that junction. The handbrake on, completely automatic. I don't know which way to go left or right here, so I'm just going to actually leave him here because we might find a job from it in the future. And then he's kind of can either go right to the gateway over this side or he can go left should he need to go to the warehouse. So, leaving in the middle, hey, it's as good as any. So, on that, we can leave him there his engine should be off we can jump into the puma too with his wide trailer we've got fuel yeah lots of fuel a little bit of damage to the suspension but that's not a biggie we'll leave these guys at this weather station all alone now we'll thank them for their hospitality and we'll make our merry way straight out well, really, we just want to go there, so you <laughs> can walk it. And then we're going to go to this one, activate that. I don't think there's a way across there. It looks like that's just a road to the house or garage. And then we're going to see about, I don't know, I don't know where the road goes across there. It does imply there's a road somewhere. We'll see when we get there. It's more obvious. The map's like the back how I had it. Right, reverse out of here. To get this round to the right. A tree. Get out of the way, tree. Okay, good. Now. I might have to detach the trailer and we'll just pick it back up. So there's a trailer on its side, right there. Quite well camouflaged when you're looking at it, when it's green from that side. Okay, what can we do? There's a wee roadway down at this end, so I leave the trailer here so it's easy to detach. I'll leave a little loaf behind. Okay. On the wrong side for getting the trailer on its wheels, though. Um, that's not a problem. So the, oh, <laughs> thought the trailer was trying to get on its wheels on its own there. Well, that's a nice trick if it did. Uh, I think I can really get it back to me. Oh, that's an awkward situation. I'm, I'm going to activate it just because that's got to do with a Scout 800. That's got nothing to do with this trailer. Is that right? Let me read it again. Someone was trying to get away from the fires that he just took my car. Okay. Interesting. That must be another task then. A 
Okay, if we get the winch, I'm going to use the crane. And I'm going to pick it up that way. Up you get. Like so. Have a quick check on the map. What is that then? That abandoned trailer. No, that's that. So where's the tra curtain side trailer? So it is that one. It's, but it's locked. That's why I'm not getting anything indicating at this stage. But it needs delivered to the house in the northeast, the curtain side trailer. House in the northeast is away up there, of course it is. And we are away down here. So maybe, maybe then it would be worth, when I reattach my trailer with the loaf, is with the winch attached to that trailer and we'll drag it all the way up to at least get onto this road. And from that road, away over to that corner of the map, uh, I have no idea, maybe around the back of the quarry and across. But being here is of absolutely no use whatsoever. That'll make it more interesting. Right, so... Restore the crane. It's getting dark. Let's get around to the daylight while we're at the map. Right, okay. So, to do that, I want to turn around. This Puma, without anything attached, is just so awesome. Okay... Then you come to that pool. Let's go forwards. I just get this trailer to about here. Release the winch. Right, let's go and get my trailer. On. I want that. Good job. Feels like the loaf is slipping off the the end of this trailer. But it looks like. Just stay there, loaf. Okay, let's see if we can get the winch to it. Oh, sorry, camera. Like that. Punch it in a bit. Okay, I have no doubt the Puma is powerful enough. Let's go. I need to figure out where that Scout 800 task was talking about. Because I felt like I've already recovered a Scout 800. This thing is an absolute beast. Okay, so that's the road down to that house. And that I was going to investigate that task, wasn't I? Oh, man. Right, detach again the trailer. Be slightly more difficult to get reattached. Okay, nothing else in here. Nope. Nobody about. Okay. So, a hurtful loss. Can you imagine? I was hurrying home with my family, so I decided to take a shortcut. Sadly, it got me stuck in the marsh. We left the car behind and walked home. Could you help us pull out our car? Yes. And it's a. International Load Star. Oh, I never saw that. Ah, uh, okay. And where are you? You're nearby the Fleet Star. So maybe the Fleet Star could go and pull him out and deliver it over to that house. Okay. I need to get rid of that waypoint. Or get rid of that waypoint. And that waypoint. Okay. We'll accept that. Don't forget to do that. Close that. Let's back it out again. Uh, 
That's a shame we don't get to keep the load star. Oh, the loaf's finally made his bid for freedom. <laughs> ah, okay. It's funny how when they're packed, they still can move. Right, anchor. Train. Right, loaf, you're not getting off. I could put them just straight onto the normal load bed, at least then he won't move. Come on, spin back round. Our crane's suddenly lost its way power. Come on, spin round. Okay. It's not ideal. Come on, left. I wish these low wheels weren't turned like that. It makes it so much harder to let them run forward. Oh, that, and that's because the crane's fully extended. I'm trying to lift it, but it's extending it. It's not doing what the key bind is suggesting it should be doing. Whoa! Oh, what is going on here? No, no, no! <sighs> the crane wasn't obeying any of my key pines there. How bizarre! Ah, oh, man, it's gone from bad to much worse. But fortunately, we have the loaf. Even though he's the cause of the problem. <sighs> so it's loaf to rescue. The mighty loaf. I'm surprised that the Puma getting pulled over even with the anchors out. Right, low ratio, up you get. Yay for the loaf. Right, let's put him back over. I should have just left him. He was on the trailer. I just wanted it a bit better. Right. You stay there. Engine off. Change truck. Reverse it back a little bit. Behave yourself this time, Loaf. So, I don't know why it turns the steering wheels like that, even though I, I'd set them straight. But anyway, it's on. Restore the crane. And break back off. Oh. Breaking. underneath. Yes. A little bit of encouragement. There he goes. And the wolf is packed again. Okay. It's going to be slightly longer because obviously I expected to be in the road by this point. Can you go come in with me? Yes. But it's a bit of exploration as well. Come on. Surprised that the Puma was running out of steam there, because he was doing awesome before. Okay. 
went straight through here, I think. That's deeper than it looked. This one. Everything's still on its wheels. And is that us coming up for the road? It looks like it is. Let's quick check of the map. Yes, it is. Excellent. So interesting finish to the episode we've got a few more things to consider for the next little bit with this curtain cider and whatnot but guys i hope you've enjoyed it Put the engine off because i will forget thank you so much for watching and you'll see me again soon bye for now